All right, I just showed you how to trade range. Let's go to how to trade trend. Gold today, crude, has been in a range. So if I look at crude oil, let me give a recap of this. When we did the last video, I said this would be a sell up here, and it worked out great. Sold the high, came down, now you cover the low. So in a range market, we are flat. We're sideways right here. The easy way to see is look at our magenta MA. We don't use moving averages for support, for support and resistance, but they're great for trend direction. If it's flat, we sell the outer edges of market profile, sell the red, buy the green, avoid the middle, avoid the blue. That's the most volume that's traded. We avoid the middle. So in other words, you're going to sell the high and you're going to buy the low in range until we break out. Now we're looking for a breakout trade in crude this morning. Once that breaks out, we'll break away from it. We'll retest it. We'll try to get the arrows. Fibonacci arrows short or long. But we take no arrows. Let me repeat. We take no Fibonacci arrows off my Rinko charts. None. Zero. Until we get outside of profile. My thin green line, my thick green line, my thin red line, my thick green line, a red line. That's the edge trading. You're trading the edges in a range market. Now look at the difference in trend. Look at gold. See the difference? Now we're below all three MAs and we are trending hard down. Market profile, it's below market profile. So if you look at it, the difference, we have no support. Look at this. We're below my volume profile and my developing, my, my favorite two. So we have a black hole right here. We're below all of my two major profiles. More importantly, look at the trend chart. This is a trend. Check this out. We've been in a downtrend. The 90% candle close. We've been in a downtrend since 6 o'clock this morning. So if you've taken any longs this morning on gold at all, you are wrong. You are a wrongly positioned trader, and you deserve to lose your money, monies to traders that are positioned correctly in the market. Why? Because you're fighting against the trend. You're a counter-trend trader. There's a time to counter-trend trade if you get it back inside of my developing profile like yesterday on crude. Other than that, you cannot counter the, the trend at all. you got to stay with the trend. So we've been in a downtrend. So we're in a downtrend. Now, how can we take advantage of the downtrend? This is the first chart you look at, the trend chart on any given market, futures, stocks, Forex, ETFs, OEX options, whatever. If we're in a downtrend below all three MAs, look at the space you have between the smaller MA and the open versus close relationship, the body of the candle. We don't care about the wicks. Look at the body of the candle. So now, how do I want to get short? My trend chart says short. Do we short just right away? No, we time it to the exact bar. How do we time it? Let's take a look at it. If we know my trend chart's in a hard downtrend, which it is, it's the first chart we look at. We go to the next chart, which is my SIM chart. Now, the SIM Rinko chart by itself to me is worthless unless you are in the direction of overall trend filter trend on my trend chart but it's absolutely dynamic when it's in direction of the trend. What I want to do is I want to see where my SIM dots are. Right there they were. There's only two ways to, to sell in a downtrending market. You break symmetry, you retest symmetry, and you look for an arrow in the three SIM next to it, a Fibonacci arrow. There it broke, there it retested, it only exceeded it by one tick. You're allowed to exceed it, just can't close a whole body candle close above it. So right at that retest, and all the trades, all the videos I did last week, all the big giant trades we had was the same exact setup on trend. We come over here, did my arrow fire on the retest. Look at my beautiful, gorgeous arrow right there. Look at my gorgeous arrow showing me a Fibonacci retracement right at the high. So these three charts, there's your entry. Your entry's right here at that exact arrow close. Once we close there on that arrow, it told you to get short right exactly there at the close of that bar. There's my short. So all three charts 
combined together because we had the trend chart saying we only take shorts. We're smarter than our trading opponent. We don't use a stochastic or a MAC or divergence, all that baloney. There's, this is a different than all these Rinko bars out there. I have a trend filter built in. We're not using minute charts, share charts, range charts. They're worthless. They, they don't have a trend filter built in. I have a trend filter built in. We're not going to miss the big trends. Trend filter says down. Then what do we do? We can let symmetry break. We can let it retest. Once it retests, we can fire arrow here on the five sim if it fires or look for a three sim arrow to fire. There's our entry. Negative market delta below should confirm it. We had a red cell signal right at that arrow to go short the market. And look at the big trade we got on a trend down. Over a $400 trade, you risked $110 on that trade, two ticks above the swing high, almost a four to one reward to risk again. Now, can you sell here in a downtrend? Watch this. Look where my arrows are at right here. Can you sell there? I teach my traders, yes, you can. Why? Because once that closed green, that bar closed green here, after you broke symmetry, that shows you that you have counter trend traders in the market, novice traders. Wait for the first market delta red. You see it closed there in the market delta red. There's a sell signal. Then it came down. Then you got these beautiful, gorgeous counter trend traders. Thank you. You ever see a counter trend trader shake their hand, say, thank you. I appreciate the business. Keep bringing it on. Give me order flow. Thank you so much. Green bar comes in, novice traders get in, counter trend traders. Thinking divergence coming in, MAC crossing over, moving average crossover, some crazy lagging indicator. Negative market delta comes in, another short. Now we're three for three on gold this morning. Three for three on gold this morning since 5 a.m. this morning. Why? All going with the nine sim trend. Now market profile confirmed it over here also. But you don't even have to know how to trade market profile in trend. It's simple break retest. It will conflue the arrows. You just need to know how to trade the trend, sim chart, and my fib arrows to pop in the trade. That's all we do. Now, if we look at crude, they're buying the low and selling the high. We can't take any arrows at all on crude until we break out. Until we break out a profile, which I'll bring it over, look. Do you think it's just by luck that it's bouncing in between my profile all this morning and, and range? Here it does it again, right off of it. Do you think it's by luck? It's, they're selling the high, buying the low? That's worked for 33 years. On any range market, I don't care what market you put up, futures, stocks, forex, currency, the market likes to bounce in between my two profiles, high value and low value in range. You look to go from one side to the other. Then you'll break out. You look for a retest, go back into trend, then we get back on our arrows. That's the market. That's the rhythm of it. We are an electronically traded market. Floor traders have no place in the market anymore. They don't control the market. The floor is obsolete. It's all electronically traded markets. The big S&P contract has no volume left in it. It's all the ES. Now, back in the 80s, the S&P big contract had all the volume. Now, it's the S&P minis. It's got all the volume, almost 80% of the volume, right? Even more than that probably now. So we can, the market will leave its footprint on my market profile like this. Look at calling the low to the exact tick there, up here, there, there, in a range market. So that's how you trade range versus trend. Now, if it's trend, then all we do is buy the low, sell the high. I mean, uh, buy the retracements, break retest profile, or if you see it turn green, wrongly positioned traders are getting in, let it turn back red, get short the market, put your stop loss two ticks above these swing highs. You just take in that trade from 98 down to 88. That's a $1,000 trade this morning since 730. $1,000 trade with a $110 stop loss. That is a 10 to 1 reward to risk ratio since 730 on gold. And I know the exact bar to get short here. 95 short all the way down to 88. That's an $800 trade with a, that's an eight to one reward to risk. Break retest, 92 short. 
That's a $400 trade, a four to one reward to risk. That's just knowing what you're doing. That's trading order flow. Stop trading lagging indicators and trade order flow. What really helps us out is our trend chart. It lets us know we better not take any longs. Because if you look at a minute chart, you're going to be lagging. You look at a 233 tick, you're done. You look at a range, range bar, you're done. You look at a volume chart, you're done. They're all lagging by nature. If you don't have a trend filter built into your price bars, you're toast. Because you don't know the overall push in the market. We got to know if we're in trend or chop. And we can clearly see we've been in trend all morning. Look at that. There's the bar that started the whole trend. If you don't step back and look at the big picture, you can't make trades like this. You can't get $1,000 trades like that. If you trade micro too much and not look at the macro point of view, then you can't make it as a trader. You go macro down to micro. I look at the big picture, what's going on. Then I go down to an intermediate chart on my chart next to it, right there, the SIM chart. I had one, two, three entries. And then if I break retest symmetry, I look for my arrows over here to fire on my Fibonacci arrows. And that's my micro chart. Macro, intermediate, micro. Order and balance on my Market delta, just to confirm, order flow between the bid and the ask. That's all we do.